All right, check it out. New kitchen for Cab Cabernet's down here today. Okay, let's check out the new digs. New kitchen alert. You know what I mean? Got the pantry. You know, I'm gonna hook that up later, but just to show y'all what I'm working with over here. Nice workspace. As you can see, you're gonna hook up some great meals. Yeah. Get ready. Hey, yo, what's shaking? Once again, this is Mr. Cab Cabernet. That's Chef Cabernet to you. And welcome to another episode of Cab Cabernet's Dining the Day. So, new kitchen, as I said, uh, new digs. What we're gonna do is, uh, we're gonna do today a nice dope salmon. We're gonna do a wild caught sockeye salmon, some asparagus, and some plantains. That's what we're gonna do. Stay tuned. Mr. Cabernet, Mr. Cab Cabernet, Mr. Cabernet, Mr. Cab Cabernet. Yeah. So first things first, uh, when dealing with seafood, I've said this before and I say it again. I do not uh, cook or eat uh, farm raised seafood. There's a few reasons why I only eat wild caught. One of those reasons is it just tastes better. It smells and tastes like the ocean, okay? Because it's wild caught from the ocean, not farmed in some man-made pond or lake or whatever. Controlled, it's it's wild. It's not controlled, it's wild, um, but it's also more, more healthy. A sockeye salmon is one of the, the healthiest fish you can eat, omega-3. Uh, benefits as well as um, the vitamin D. So many different reasons, but anyway, as you can see, we have the sockeye. It's reddish, pinkish, orangish. Okay, <laughs> that's how it should look. Wild caught sockeye salmon. A piece like this uh, is gonna run you, you know, a little something. It's not cheap at all, but it's it's worth it. So let's get to work. I'm gonna prep and um, be back in about five. Stay tuned. So as you can see, uh, I'll chop that up in half because I'll be dining alone this evening. Or will I? We'll see. Um, <clears throat> but that's a big enough piece. Even if you're gonna do it with two people. We got the cast iron skillet. Uh, Heat is on medium, medium high. We got the oil um, over here getting ready for the plantains, the fried plantains. That's around, uh, that's on high. We're gonna turn that down a little bit. And um, but we want that really, really hot because you want them to be a certain consistency when they're done. The softer the plantain, the better. When you get them in the store, if they're already soft with black, you know, uh, we're talking about sweet plantains, uh, with the black marks on them, that's the ones you want. That's soft, okay? Because when you cook them, when you cut them up, put them in the in the oil, and the oil's real hot, they're gonna they're gonna be soft and and, and mushy in the inside, but they're gonna be crunchy on the outside. That's that's how you want them. This is how you want it. You want them soft with uh, you know. Like really, really ripe, okay? And these are gonna go right in. So as you can see, these are doing pretty well. That's what they're supposed to be looking like after about 60 seconds. See that? Crunchy around the outside, like that, that brown ring around them. That's, that's what you want. So these are done. We're just gonna scoop these up out of here. And we'll take the powder, drain them. Let's get into this, the sockeye. So let's get this fish popping now. We got, um, let's turn this fire on. Yeah. Uh, medium. As I've said before, my default flavor profile for all seafood 
okay? Unless I'm doing something, you know, trying something different or just got a taste of, you know, for some type of other profile, it's pretty simple and it's, and it's, it's universal with me. Um, it's garlic. It is uh, a blend of Italian herbs, you know, um, which is like the Italian seasoning um, you'll get in the store. Um, you know, it's, it's basically thyme, rosemary, marjoram, uh, I think there's some oregano in there, stuff like that. Butter, salt, and pepper. Um, that's pretty much it. You can, you can do a variation of those things, or you can, you know, do what you want to do, but that's what I do. It just happens to taste good with all seafood, okay? All of it. I had some uh, king crab the other night. I even put I put it in the butter. You know, it just it just works. So just chop this up. It doesn't have to be, uh, you know, fine. I like I like it a little rustic because I'm throwing it in the pan. A little al a little olive oil. So that's in the pan with a little olive oil. Uh, I'm gonna throw the butter in uh, later because we don't want it to burn, right? Again, butter burns. So we do that last. Garlic burns as well. But uh, we want we want the we want a little toast on the garlic for this dish. So Look at this beautiful, beautiful specimen. Okay, so what we're gonna do with this, as I said, we're gonna do a little pepper. Again, I like my pepper coarse from a grinder. I don't like that ground pepper stuff you find in the stores already ground. Uh, we'll do we'll do some we'll do some salt. Okay. Also ground sea salt, I prefer. Uh, we'll do some crushed rosemary. I don't have any um, fresh today. Did not go to the market, but this will do. And we'll do some, what is this, some thyme leaves? Yeah, this is brand new. Let me throw this, do this right. So we'll do some thyme and rosemary, right? Yeah. The thyme and rosemary, salt and pepper, and um, yeah, I think that that's good. I'm just gonna lay it in there like so, right on top of the garlic. Let's go with these asparagus. We don't need to cook all of these; we'll cook half of them. Drop them up a little up the size. And we'll rinse them off. And now these are ready. What I do, right, what I like to do is I like to put the asparagus in. I like to put the asparagus in after the fish is done in the same pan so that it kind of soaks up all of the juices and seasons and spices um, from the fish dish. And then add a little, I might add a little uh, hot pepper flakes or, or, or maybe some cumin or something. But we're gonna see how that, how that uh, works out. Give me some butter. Today we're gonna do whipped butter, okay? Whipped butter, a little bit more creamy. You know what I'm saying? But, For this fish, it'll work. And a healthy portion of butter for this dish. Definitely. Okay. The fish is cooking. Uh, plantains are done. This fish should be ready in about five minutes. Stay tuned. Yeah. So the, so the uh, salmon was flipped. You got the skin side up, the skin is nice and crispy. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. 
You see that? That's what you want. A little char. Look at the garlic. Little, just a little, uh, little char with the butter. This is what we're gonna do. Watch this. We're gonna take these asparagus and just throw them in there with the fish, right on top of the garlic and the butter, just like so. So what's gonna happen is the asparagus is going to put some of this on top. Okay? Put some of this garlic on top. The asparagus got a little water on it, so it's gonna steam. With the heat of the pan and the butter and mix with the flavors of the garlic and the salt and pepper and the Italian seasoning. You know? And uh, we can even put a few hot pepper flakes on there. Yes. Yes. Little spice. Some like it hot. Yeah, this is what you want. Look, look. Asparagus. Sam is almost done. Asparagus is getting busy. Whole meal. We'll be ready to plate in about three minutes. Stay tuned. So here we go. That's the asparagus. This beautiful specimen here. Mmm. Mmm. Looks like this. Okay. I'm just going to plate them right here. I'm going to throw them right there. Alright. Make the other one. Throw them right there. Like so. Like so, like so, right? And um, all this stuff right here, this is the good stuff right here. Don't leave this. All this stuff right here, this is the garlic, the uh, herbs, but mixed with the butter, salt and pepper, all this stuff in the olive oil. Man, look at this. See that? It's almost caramelized. You want that on top of your asparagus. Believe me. And voila. We have the uh, grilled salmon. We have the sweet plantains, which are also crunchy on the outside. And the lovely grilled asparagus. A little fresh lemon squeeze. Yeah. That's all we need, baby. Let's not forget. What are we gonna pair this with? We're gonna go with a white, we're gonna go with this white California um, Chardonnay. That healthy. Healthy pouring. And this is dinner at Casa de Cabernet's. This is, once again, this is Mr. Cab Cabernet, lifestyle connoisseur, but that's Chef Cabernet to you. And this has been another episode of Cab Cabernet's Dine of the Day. And I want you all to remember, living well is eating well. Bon appetit. Mr. Cabernet, Mr. Cab Cabernet, Mr. Cab Cabernet, Mr. Cab Cabernet, Mr. Cabernet, Mr. Cab Cabernet.